Therefore, whoever eats this bread and drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself. So let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. For if we were to judge ourselves, we would not be judged. And we can all agree on that statement. Well, I just got through reading that if we eat and drink this, although it is a cracker, it's a physical saltine cracker bought at Target, and juice, grape juice, um, bought at Target. But it symbolizes the blood and the body of Jesus Christ. And, what we re and when we're doing it in a service like this, we're doing it in holy remembrance of our living God. So if we do this with an attitude of like, it's just juice and a cracker, uh, you know, we just got through smoking some dope or getting drunk before we got out here just to get our buzz on because it's easier to hear the Lord with our mind cloudy, there's a great chance that we can get sick. That's what it's stating here. So this is why I've always encouraged people that for those that don't want to participate, don't think their heart is right, it's not a showmanship between you and me and the rest of us here. This is a holy sacrament between you and your Creator. And we go on. And, yes, for, I your received, salvation. for I have received from the Lord that which I have delivered to you. That the Lord Jesus on the same night in which He was betrayed took the bread. And when He had given thanks, He broke it and said, Take, eat. This is My body which is broken. For you do this in remembrance of me, and we ate together. <clears throat> and when he had given thanks, uh, in the same manner, I'm sorry, same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes and we drink together. Sometimes um, I get a little bit, um, my mind scatters at the end of the service. So I have some socks to hand out, so just remind me. Um, <clears throat> I obviously don't know where everybody's heart is at with the Lord. God knows the heart. Out of the heart is where the fruit and the lives change. And somebody says, well, how do you, can you really tell if somebody's been born again? I said, it's the lifestyle. It's the lifestyle. It's who you're living. It's who you're obeying. Are you obeying the lusts and the desires of the enemy of this planet, or are you obeying God? It really is a clean cut. <laughs> Again, one day for 25 long years, I was an alcoholic and a drug addict and addicted to pornography and gambling and everything that that Vegas lifestyle had to offer.